this time from that single word in the dictionary which hides a curious life story, we seek another adventure in time's passing parade. For today, in a grave in Switzerland, that for a hundred years was neglected and forgotten, there lies the dust of a fabulous fraud. Lived in glory, died in shame, forgotten his story, defiled his name. Franz Anton Mesmer, 1815. Now, to search out the mystery of this abandoned grave, we must go back to a chapter of the man's life 25 years before, when to the city of Paris in France, there came an amazing human who called himself Dr. Mesmer. Tens of thousands of afflicted people the poor afoot, the rich in their carriages, crowded into his clinics, where he treated all comers with magnets or glass wands. He claimed that this mumbo-jumbo produced mysterious magnetic currents that would cure all ills. And this fantastic nonsense actually produced results. And Dr. Mesmer was believed by the ignorant to be in league with the powers of hell. Many patients were spoiled old aristocrats who merely imagined their ailments. And these, like the aged Duchess, received very rough treatment and paid enormous fees. Strangely, though, he treated the poor free. And it was in dealing with this tragic case, the case of a blind girl from Flanders, that Dr. Mesmer first stumbled on real powers he did not know that he possessed. Mysterious, flamboyant Dr. Mesmer, the fabulous fraud. Ready then? The magnetic shock, Mountebank. I've been in this chair for ten years. The heart can stand it, madam. Of course, of course. You tested it yourself. Strong as a girl. Crippled, that's all. I insist that you do it. Very well, madam La Duchesse. The magnetized solution is ready. This, madam, is what we call the aqua shock. mixture of hocus-pocus and real science. But if his brutal shock treatment of a duchess would make him famous, this blind child was to make him nearly great. Blind since childhood, yet his attempt to cure this girl would lead Mesmer the Fraud to stumble upon the mystery called hypnotism. I am not a surgeon, my dear one. I cannot operate upon that optic nerve. The lady, she walked again. And perhaps you shall see again. The hands are placed on the knees. One surrenders entirely to calm and peace. One nearly falls asleep. Then we apply the magnetic currents. In my grand wig, I look like a prime minister. You... You would like to see me, wouldn't you? Oh, yes. Ah, but it is very hot. I wear it for its effect upon somewhat childlike imaginations. But 
But as you sit here, becoming rested at last, the tension leaving you, not moving your hands, you become certain you shall see. I have sent my assistant for electricity and magnet. But you will sit here motionless, dreaming until I tell you. There will be no further treatment today. You will get well. You will see. Your father will bring you back tomorrow morning. There was no magnetic current. Force came from elsewhere. I merely touched her with my hands. My hands. Is the healing power in me? Is it an animal force? Why I can heal with my hands. We know it beyond doubt now that your hands did carry healing, and power was hidden in your quiet voice and the look in your eyes. You become certain you shall see. You shall see. You shall see. You shall see. For gradually, to your amazement and that of the world, her sight did return. So thousands flocked to your clinics and those of your imitators, and many real cures were made. And finally, the great French Academy was ringing with debate over your discoveries. But at the climax of success, a stranger entered your career. That stranger was death. For as tens of thousands were helped by mesmerism, tens of thousands also died, murdered by ignorance. And even your celebrated cure of blindness failed at last when you ceased the treatments. Your mighty discovery was kill or cure, but twice as often as it cured, it killed. So exit Mesmer, who purchased fame at the price of death. And where did you go, Franz Mesmer? History hides the answer. You disappeared. Your name became a legend. And then, years later, a country doctor was found in a remote Swiss village, and his name was Mesmer. Could this be the man whose experiments with hypnotism were finally to become a legitimate part of science, which today cures the mentally ill. Did you have a vision beyond your time, Dr. Mesmer? Were you entirely a healer or entirely a fraud? I held a key that might have unlocked the door to an unknown world. I could not enter. Those who follow, the men of science, I wonder if they will find a footprint left by old Miss Man, the charlatan. Lived in glory, died in shame. Franz Anton Mesmer, 1815.